Hi, this is Jeff Flaherty from the Juniper Networks Education Services Lab Team. If you're interested in learning more about Master RE Console, be sure to check out our courses that cover it, including data center switching, troubleshooting data center switching, and our Junos Enterprise Switching using Enhanced Layer 2 Software, or ELS. For full details on these courses, just visit www.juniper.net forward slash courses and do a quick search. Now let's get to your learning bite. Hello, my name is Will Pinchek, and this is a quick learning bite on how do you know if you're on the Master RE's console port or not, the physical console port. A lot of times it's hard to tell, but there's a small secret that is useful to know. So that's where we're headed. Kind of a quick one here. So this applies to both virtual chassis fabric and virtual chassis. So this would apply to both, and it's just an overview of how the console ports work. So let's say I have a four-node virtual chassis fabric in this instance. Each individual device has its own console ports, which is what we're pointing out here. Now, once you have a virtual chassis fabric or a virtual chassis established between these four devices, regardless of which port you go into, you end up on the CLI of the master RE, which would be this guy here. We're going to call this the master RE. So once the fabric is established or the virtual chassis is established, there's no more logging into the individual members. There's a way to get to the individual members, but by default, when you go into a console port of any member, you end up with a CLI session on the master RE directly. So if we look at the next slide, we see here that, say for instance, a user accesses member 3's console port, right? They'll get a login prompt, and when they log in, what they'll see, and I'm going to point this out to you, you'll see that an IP-based CLI session is established with the master RE over the VCP backplane, the backplane built on the VCP ports. So it looks as if you're on the console port of the master RE once you log in, um, because that is the CLI you're interacting with. Any configuration statements you enter or show commands, they are all executed on the master RE. So it looks, again, by even going into the console port of member 3 here, it looks like you are actually on the console port of the master RE. Now sometimes, uh, most of the time this is good, and I actually really like this feature, but sometimes it's ideal to actually be on the master RE's console port for one reason or another. And let's say you're thrown into a situation where you need to troubleshoot for, say, a customer, you know, troubleshoot uh, virtual chassis or virtual chassis fabric, and uh, you don't know their exact topology, and, and you want to get on the console port of the master RE, and you want to make sure you're on the console of the master RE. So there's a way to tell. What I'll do is I'll show you a, a live example. So our example topology is going to look like this. This is our master RE. We've got a backup RE, RE1, and we've got two just members, regular members, member 2 and 3. Now if I'm to log into member 3, which is this guy here, so this is his console port, what I could show you is if I uh, enter the username, take a look at this. You see logging to master. That's the key that tells you you're not currently on the console port of the master. This is basically telling you I'm establishing an IP-based connection to the master RE across that virtual fabric. That's how I know I'm not on the console port of the master RE. Now when I log in, here I am. It appears now that I am on the master RE, even though I went in member 3. But again, it was logging to master was my hint here that I am not actually coming in on the physical master RE's console port. So um, that's on member 3 here. Now if I go into member 2, let's check out member 2. I'll also go there just as a just to show you. Again, here's the console port of member 2. If I say uh, username, and there we go again. It says logging to master. Let's see lab123 here in this case. 
And here we are. I'm on the console. Well, what appears to be the console of the master already, even though I know I'm not, because when I came in, it said logging to master. And uh, you know, the same thing would happen if I went into uh, member one. But I'll just go ahead and show you that the difference is when I go into the console of the master re, which is member uh, zero's console port, right? If I say, you know, enter the username, notice that I do not see that logging to master prompt, right? It just simply goes straight to password. That's how I know I am now on the physical console port of the master re. And that's it. Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, again, so there's sometimes there's reasons for you wanting to be on the master re. Like, say for instance, you wanted to upgrade member ID three, and you wanted to make sure that uh, you were not on its console port, so you're not kicked out in the middle of an upgrade. You know, you might want to make sure you're on the master re. Well, now you know uh, whether or not you're on the master re console port. Hope that helps. Again, my name is Will Pinchek, and I'll talk to you on the next learning bite. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.